Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're gonna have a look at the installation of the first custom ROM for Redmi 4A. Alright, so before we begin, we need to have TWRP installed and if you want to see how to do that, the video link is mentioned in the description. And to begin with, you need to download the ROM and Google Apps. The link for the same is also mentioned in the description. Make sure you copy that to your phone's internal memory. Now, just go ahead and boot into TWRP and format your phone like wipe everything so obviously just make sure you have more than 50 percent battery and you've backed up all your data and once you've done that you just need to go to install locate the ROM and the Google Apps file and select both of them and then swipe to install now this installation will take about five to seven minutes and we will talk a little more about the ROM once the ROM has booted up because this is one of the very first builds and the sources for this device are not out yet so there are a few bugs which may not allow you to use this phone as a daily driver however this is a quick preview once we get stable roms and a lot more custom roms for this particular device we will definitely go ahead and have a look at which is the best rom and how stable it is now once the installation is done just wipe cache and direct and then reboot system now this is the first boot so it will take anywhere between 5 to 7 minutes and if you get this prompt disable stock recovery flash just go ahead and swipe to allow the same because we don't want TWRP to be overwritten by the stock recovery. Now once the phone is booted up as always with any custom ROM you will be greeted up with a you know nice boot animation as you can see on the screen and once everything is initialized you can just go ahead and set up your device now for geo users voice over lte is not working geo 4g voice is not working so this is definitely not a daily driver for you apart from that there are a few bugs here and there like the phone keeps rebooting randomly but then again yes you know as this is a custom rom uh, you, you really get a lot of smoothness you get the nexus like experience or a pixel like experience because it is pure stock android 6.0 yes that's correct though we are in the era of 7.1.2 but as this device has a rom or a stock rom which is based of 6.0 the custom rom is also built on the base of 6.0 now apart from that if you have a look at the screen most of the features are working which is a pretty good news for a very very early or a beta build now if you swipe down and if you go to settings scroll down to about as you can see this is lineage os android 6.0.1 redmi 4a the indian variant now let's have a look at CPU-Z after the first boot, how is the device performing. So that's your device information, the display, the, the Android version, the battery and that's the temperature. So the device is not heating up at idle. Now as I mentioned, you know, that we will not be talking about a lot of features in this device because uh, we will not be talking about a lot of features in this particular preview. We will just have a look at the benchmark scores to check if there is any significant difference when it comes to the scores with the stock ROM. Now, on the stock MIUI ROM, the score that I got for this particular device was around 35 to 37,000 points on Antutu. And let's see how much this one scores. So, as you can see, 35,568 and the scores are pretty similar because you know this is a very very early build the sources are not out so the optimization for this particular custom rom is not the best as of today but yes it will significantly improve with time once the sources are out by xiaomi and this is the geekbench score 669 and 1670 so that's again similar to the stock one if you like the video like share and subscribe Oh,